All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to paint. You hear the Amy Winehouse, you see the painting in the back, <laughs> the painting. Anyway, I just want to say that I am going to start doing some very, very, very <sighs> slow, <laughs> um, curly, curly cues, shapes, what have you. It's all going to mean something, seriously. I'm pulling things from my childhood, and I uh, hope you like it. Um, I've got a 65 in here. 65 being the year that I was born. I'll be 46 this year, this month. Um, I got some of the red on here. Last time I showed this video, or you, if you got a chance to take a look at it, I'm trying to say something, but I'm getting lost for words. Anyway. Um, I was able to outline it in red, but I got to go over it with another coat because I'm not filling the one coat thing. And plus that brown is really sucking in that red. And so I know I was going to have to do two coats. So tonight I'll be two coating it. Yeah. <laughs> two coating it. Oh, and I just want to say a shout out to my friends, my artist friends, David Lawrence, who is one of my favorite artists of all times. And um, an artist that lives in Florida who's like my favorite abstract Florida um, not Florida artist, my, probably my favorite abstract, um, artist ever, um, and that's Mr. Ron Fields, and Ron lives in Florida, in Lakeland, where I used to live, Polk County, <laughs> I love Polk County, I'm not going to move back to Polk County, but I love me some Polk County, and, um, that will always be my second home, I love it there, it's beautiful, it's like waking up in paradise every day, so shout outs to all my friends in Florida, paint now. I think. Red. And here we go. You see, I'm just too cold. And, and I remember, I don't really remember, because if you didn't see it, and I'm going to turn down Amy, because she's a little loud. Usually I like Amy really loud, and uh, unfortunately it's like really late at night. And um, I just I've been doing some homework a little bit, just a little bit, trying to tighten up my theses and get ready for a test that's coming up in art appreciation class and also the woes of my heart. <laughs> yeah, things didn't work out, so I'm a little woe. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying about the red. <laughs> You probably didn't watch the other video, um, if you did, get a chance to see that I've been wanting to do something like this for quite some time. And it requires a lot of detail, little circle-y, free shapes. Now, when I doodle, I doodle at work, I doodle wherever, it's in my sketchbook, and then I want to turn those doodles into large paintings. However, I didn't doodle this, I just went for it, and I don't want to do an outline, um, pencil markings or anything to create some you know, premeditated doodle. I'm going to just doodle straight out of the paintbrush and cans and so. That's what I like to do. Freestyle! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, but what I was going to say is, <laughs> I know you're probably tired of me cutting in and you just probably want to see me paint. Yeah, like, right. This is going to take forever. So anyway, what I was going to say is the red is representing um, the political party and the blue is present, representing the other political party. There's two political parties. There's one, red, and then there's blue. Kind of like a crypt and blood thing. You know, like the United States is like the biggest gang of all time. I didn't say that in a mean, nasty way, but, you know, the colors are kind of <laughs> telling on it. So, uh, anyway. How about I get cut off of YouTube for saying that? Hmm. Worst things have happened, and I've got some stragglies on my brush. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my hair. <laughs> Whatever. I don't listen to Amy Winehouse when I paint. I don't know, it's like going to a bar and not having a drink. What's the point? <laughs> Actually, let me tell you why my 
part just kind of down a little bit let me just say it real quick and I'm not gonna make this video long because I just want to do some outlining and I wanted to say that I'm working on this but tonight I'm also going to try to do or finish an abstract the orange and white thing I'm gonna make that orange because I didn't get a chance to go get my gallon of orange paint like I really want that sucks but I have a job I'm gonna have school and as you already know <sighs> and I can't go get my art my art supplies like I want to <laughs> I'm gonna stop being melodramatic but I gotta get that orange paint so um, it may come into the painting but tonight I'm gonna start a all white all orange flowery fun springtime painting I gotta do it I'm feeling orange and white those are like my colors right now oh look my t-shirt I did this when I was in Florida trying to figure out what kind of acrylics so I use different types of acrylics what type of acrylics would actually stay on a cotton t-shirt and it's all worn it's like maybe three Ooh, did it in 2008 so yeah it's three years old and the yellow was like this um, you can hear it, it's still hard after three years but anyway it's crackly so anyway I used the gloss yellow gloss red gloss and all those glosses and it still kept maintained its bright yellow this yellow still yellow gloss but I think I used another yellow I don't know anyway can't find it but anyway the turquoise in the background was like brilliantly awesome turquoise it was just amazing and it faded but it still has that nice background I like that and the maroon is a house paint so I have all these different types of acrylics on this shirt and it's lasted for three years for a good amount of time I got some rain and you know some clouds and some raindrops that is on each side it's a tropical girl with some tropical foul hours I don't know if you can see all that down there <laughs> and I really don't want you to see all that down there so I'm gonna stop jumping around anyway I'm gonna put on a little coat and I'm gonna see you guys uh, I would say manana but I don't really know if that means tomorrow or yesterday <laughs> bye <laughs>